Yeah. <laughs> that's a front. Oh, what would happen? Because he only has one back, doesn't he? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> one foot near on the back foot. You know where the other is. Hello. Is that any bell? Joe. You guys are wonderful. Oh, there is Shen. Hi, Shen. Oh. I delivered your smooch first. Shen. Oh. Shen. If, I hope it's okay. Can I say it? Shen just, I think so. Okay. Shen just had a birthday. Shen, come pick up your birthday present. It is a Sanford to match your other orangey boys at home. <laughs> your big orangey boys. Hi. Hi, Burgundy. Oh, dear, that's better than the one I got before, Ram VA. There we go. <laughs> he is so cute. Shen, you, you like the orange boys. Come pick him up. I think he would like your house. Although, I don't know if Arthur and, um, oh, gosh, don't tell me. Oh, no. Arthur and, oh, I forgot. Arthur and, okay, what's this? She's going to say it. Arthur and who, Shen? Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> Who is it, Arthur? He would, but uh, Felix, Felix, Arthur, and Felix. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm doing a very impromptu update that I just told the mods about like 10 seconds ago. I was like, let's do a tiny update, update. Hi, how's everybody doing today? Happy Sunday. Sonia's leaving today. Oh, <laughs> Dark Cat's like, and, oh, you're doing it now. Okay, yeah, now. Now, surprise. <laughs> TikTok. We are, we want to kidnap Sonia, or Sonia, Sonia. <laughs> Sonia. That's um, a new one. Not, I, we were just talking about this. Yeah, I don't think I've, I was thinking I've got that before. No, I don't think I have. No, no, that's a new one. Add that to my repertoire. Yeah. Um, oh, we'd love to kid kidnap Sonia. That would be just wonderful. We were talking, I was talking about Pretendy Land, if we had all the finances in the world and we could hire her overseas, but she comes here and visits a lot. I mean, you kind of do visit a lot anyways. <laughs> but at least hire you overseas so then you can quit your job and yeah. Are the kittens going with her? Boy, oh boy, wouldn't that be nice. 
I did just take a picture of the kittens, so she's been helping a lot with, um, as well as Debbie, um, helping with those those three, the three orphans. The minis. The, the minis. Uh, we've been feeding them. So I just took a picture of them, and look how cute they are. Thank goodness they're clean. They are clean. This we did is, clean them. There's before and after. This is after. <laughs> This you is a, after before. food time. You don't want to smell so, before. Remember, um, we haven't we haven't needed them yet, but here they are. Look how cute they are. There they are. Aren't they precious? So sweet. Two little oranges and a white. <laughs> Marrow. Marrow. <laughs> huh? Maybe. What? See? Do you guys remember how many we took in? Oh! <laughs> there how are... many? No. No, no. No, no. See, look. There's two oranges and a white. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <gasps> So, Sonia brings the kittens. I do not. Um, I don't know what happens. It is her fault. So, originally... I bring cute ones. You, you gotta give me you that You do much. bring cute ones. Originally, there were these three. So, two oranges and a white, like... We're not very good with this, but we, we've been I calling them both Flame Point. Flame Point, I think. He's completely white with... Um, Orangish. Yeah, orange tips on the ears and the tail. And then someone showed up. What was it? Right? I can't... Days are... They're, they're all mixing up. Um, Sounds then, right. Then someone showed up. I think it might have been Friday. Um, with... This one. <laughs> oh, that one. Yeah. With the... This one. Get the arm one. Oh! <laughs> Showed up with that one. So, that one, you know, of course, we are just beyond full. I cannot take any more. Here. This one. <laughs> oh. Melt. Tell it no. Tell it no. I yeah, dare you. Yeah, go ahead and turn it away. Turn it away. Someone showed up with that one. Um, no, there's one I haven't heard. Dark so the baby looks like a lynx point. Oh, <gasps> lynx like, point. I don't know what all the points are. Oh. I'm that, like, I know that's, there's... That's her dreaming. It is a female. Um, so someone showed up with her, and I'm like, oh, geez. Okay, well, I definitely can't take in any more. But then I'm looking at her, and I'm like... If you've got three, what's one more, I suppose? So, we threw it in the cage. <laughs> Hard, like, against yeah, the yeah, back we're like, wall. Yeah, throw 50. it in there. Um, threw it in the back cage. And then, um, so Sonya comes out, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> you know, the three babies, look how cute they are. You know, look at the babies. They, they're doing really well. So, she comes in there, and she looks at them for, what? Five, ten seconds. <laughs> And she's like, what did you do, Megan? <laughs> Lynette wasn't here, or she was in another room, so I had to be Lynette. What did you do, Megan? Yeah. And so she found out right away. Now, Debbie had been feeding the three babies. Um, she had fed them all through the night. And I think it was like, what? I don't know. Whatever night. It, so they're all meshing together. But um, she had fed them all through the night. And she comes out in the morning after the fourth baby had come and um we were talking about the babies I said well come look at how cute they are and she's talking about feeding them and she's just she's looking at the babies looking at them and does not notice there's a fourth one in there <laughs> she looks at them for five minutes and me and Lynette are like Deb you you're gonna feed all of them she's like well yeah I'm not just gonna feed two <laughs> you know and we're like but all of them and she's like I, I don't get it i don't get it five minutes goes by and she's looking at them and she's like oh wait <laughs> bonus in the kitten department yeah she's like wait a minute there was that not, there wasn't that baby there so there's there's that baby i uh 
I, I took a video the other day. I'm like, oh, wait, I can't post that. Yeah, now you can post <laughs> now it. Now I can post it. <laughs> so there's, there's that. That's what's going on. We have that extra. Oh, Debbie was so sweet. She was so sweet. She started laughing. She's like, oh, my gosh. She, and then she was worried that that baby had been in there overnight and she didn't feed it. You know, she was, it, it was so funny. But You're at 13 babies. I just counted in my head. Four, four, and five. Yes. Oh, 13 babies. 13 babies. We're going to have 13 adoptions very quickly. <laughs> yeah, poor Debbie was sleep deprived. You got to give her that. That has to factor in. So, yeah. But, so there's that. What do you do? I don't know. And this one fits right in with the others. They're around the same age. You think she might be a little bit younger. It, so it's weird because she actually is bigger than them. But I actually think she's younger. I think she was... I, I, I'm guessing that she was like the, the biggest one of whatever that litter, but younger. Because... The three that we had, while they all are smaller in weight than her, they all had their teeth coming in um, fully. Like, all their little teeth ears were in. And then um, this one, her teeth was just popping through the top and just barely popped through at the bottom. So, despite her being bigger, which is a little confusing, she has a lot of the tendencies. You know, when they're younger, they have, um, I, I still think that's what that belly, that big belly that's just very like a very soft. big milk belly yeah you know um where it's kind of like soft and they don't quite walk fully yet they're like this weird swimmy kind of thing so i think like in one more week you're gonna see her almost slendering down and growing a little bit but we'll we'll see but she's um it does look like hopi yeah except the long hair oh hope is so pretty um so yeah so they're there's them. They are, of course, not tested. Oh, and also wormy stage. We did start the dewormer on all of them. So, well, of course, on the three, but on that fourth one as well. Um, yeah, so they're doing really well, though. They're eating really good. The little white one, the flame point that we've been calling, the flame point one, um, he is hilarious because he is by far the tiniest. But also feistiest. Yeah, not tiniest in spirit. No, no. Like, he's big in his mind. Um, he's the tiniest little baby. And the other morning, I had come up in the middle of the night, and I was feeding them. And we're feeding them a gruel mixture, you know, so it's the mother and baby cat wet with KMR mixed together and, you know, make a soupy kind of slosh. So we've been feeding him that. And he, he was just fighting every step of the way. He's like, I do not want this stuff. This is, I don't want it. And so one day I was making the the food up and I had just the can of mother and baby cat so I syringed him just straight food then he gobbles it he, just absolutely gobbling so your flame point was the runt but very spunky he is spunky he is so playful and they're all funny that the two oranges will stop and stare at you more the white ones more like coming at you oh yeah and you have to open we moved them to oh. the bottom pin because they will bum rush a cage. They're fast. They, they are. Want to be. They are very fast. Um, yeah. So they're they're giving us lots of lots of laughs to be sure. So so they're doing very good. So that was my that was my update for you. I also wanted to give you another update. I haven't even told a whole lot of people yet because I like I've not, I've told a couple people that are here and Eric of course. Um, but as of Friday. We officially have the 501c3 paperwork turned in. So big, big thanks to Reed and Rindy for helping with that. Um, having that stuff kind of pre-done made it so much simpler to turn it in. So um, we will see how that goes. A little excited, a little nervous. Um, but I think it's right. Yeah. Yeah. Can you believe it? It took me like six hours <laughs> to do it. Um, but I know I'm excited, but I'm nervous, but it will be, a f it will be really nice to officially say that we are a nonprofit on paper. You know, we are in our minds and our hearts and stuff, but it'll be nice to say on paper 
that we are a 501c3. So, um, exciting, but nervous. So that was my other little update I wanted to share with you. What does that mean for you guys? Gosh, that can mean so much. Um, one, one of the big things for, for you guys is you guys will be able to deduct donations off of your taxes because it's a recognized charity. So you can issue receipts or... Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so there's that. Um, it, it's huge. Oh, it's huge. They can have, yeah, you can have lots of tax advantages. Shin, I think you've dealt with that a lot, didn't you? I think Shin's like her career, or maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like her career I helped it. But, um, you can apply for grants, you can apply for grants, all the things where it's like vote for your favorite rescue or stuff like that. You can, um, do there's things with Amazon where you can, um, donate to a charity we can actually become a charity that people can donate to on amazon yeah there's um, certain contests that are only open to 5013c is that what it is 501c3 501c3 c3 po's there i'll remember it that way yeah you just that's what it was accounting yeah accounting i knew you did numbers i do the numbers math science <laughs> math science <laughs> do the numbers yeah yeah i felt like you had numbers in your background um so Oh, Sonia, did you have some Tim Tams? I didn't. I will make sure to get one before Ooh. I leave. I'll take it for a road snack. Oh, there you go. But, um, yeah, so that was nerve-wracking but good. Um, from my understanding, if we get approved, which I, I don't see why we won't, um, I'm sure there's probably something they're going to need to contact me and be like, you didn't sign this right or... Do right. something right because it's this i needs to be dotted or this t needs to be crossed i'm totally expecting that but i tried you know again thanks to rena rindy um to line up every single piece of thing that they needed um so hopefully that will limit the amount of questions um that the government or whatever will have for us and hopefully we can move it along but the nice thing is is from here on out yeah, mother of cats, you forgot to pledge your firstborn. True. Um, but from here on out, if they approve us, we, you guys, we can backdate everything until the date I turned it in and count it as the nonprofit, if that makes sense. So, I don't know, if you made a donation like on 531 and going forward, as long as we get approved, you'll be able to deduct all of that. I'm probably not explaining it. I feel like portion at home with her accounting background is like, oh, no. <laughs> She's got beaver on her pencil. Chom, 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 yeah, chom, yeah. Chom. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I'm still learning about that too, but um, it should hopefully be really nice. And I'm hoping it will help us financially too. So this past year, I think you guys all knew, but in 2023 we had to pay a really huge tax bill which oh my goodness that like it was so frustrating because i understand the point of taxes but man it set us really really behind and it we have just been struggling to get on top of the eight ball since then so you know that will help with that and just a lot of things um it will help i haven't even let my mind wander about what the extra income or that you know the extra financially impact could mean but I'm, I'm hoping um gosh we could do more staffing um you know maybe foreign exchange student yeah <laughs> a hiring foreign exchange students um you know different things like that so um yes and someone had asked earlier will um radar be coming out to uh walk about and stuff yeah he will be um, we're just, we're completing a med treatment on him real quick. And I'd like to get that done before if he's pinned and confined, I can assure that he's the one that's eating it. So, um, yeah, so that's, yeah, backdate it, it will backdate to the application date. So I'm not quite sure how the, um, financial stuff will work and hopefully, uh, Lynette will be able to help with that all. Oh. Look I was him. just in talking with him before I came here. He is so very handsome. And his his no sploosh is so sister, cute. which is not his blood sister, but his Victoria Jackson. housemate sister. 
Victoria is so nice. She is so sweet. Yeah, tax deductible chicky. Oh my gosh, it could mean so many things. <laughs> you I don't even. Yeah, exactly. I don't even know the full implications. Some of the stuff um, I hadn't known. Oh, and I always forget, but please uh, also want to thank uh, Miguel as well, um, which is uh, Mr. Wonder Woman. Uh, Miguel, who did some bylaws for us too, which that I had no clue where to start. So big thanks to Miguel for doing that. But um, they had, um, there's just so much stuff that you can be doing. So, yeah. Not <laughs> to I don't know where he's at. He was in the cardboard castle. Or the was, cardboard house. Oh. Oh, congratulations, Kitty's mom. Well, for your grandson, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, big thanks to Miguel because putting together that bylaws, that that put, that put reassured um, my issue about doing the 501c3, which was, you know, that I could be kicked out at any time or whatever, you know, like. That makes no sense. I mean, I get I, it. I get it. I get it. But that's just what I want to avoid. But like, you know, if, if you have a horrible director or something and you need to get rid of him, you want to be able to vote him, vote him yeah. out. But I'm not looking at it as a director point. I'm looking at it as like, like these are all my cats. I own this rescue and I don't want that taken away. Mm -hmm. So. No, understandable. Yeah. Um... I don't think it would. Yeah, I don't think so either, Heather. Heather said this, becoming a nonprofit, except Deb living in the attached house. It, I wouldn't see any reason why it would. And if it does, maybe I'll just find a workaround to it or something. I don't. I can't imagine it would. Right, so you left the doors and she has to walk around. Exactly. Yeah, I can't imagine. And it, if it did, I'm sure there's probably some sort of workaround, you know, so... But yeah, so so those were my updates. Um, and then I think the last thing I wanted to say too was um, Grammy is back. She is um, in the back room. We're monitoring her. She's in a little pen. But she's actually doing pretty decent. Um, really nothing to write home about with her. She's on a med course right now. We're going to complete that um, med course and see how she does after that and then kind of reevaluate her but her spirits are good mm -hmm. um she's purry and you know adorable as ever she really is just like a little grammy really so so we'll just we'll keep on her course and see they think i don't think i told you did i even tell you guys i they darcy thinks she might have i did she might have a mega esophagus she's not sure about it um it could just be another issue entirely um, you know, a mega esophagus is exactly what it sounds like, a big esophagus. Um, that can also be caused by gulping air. So maybe it just appears that way because she's stuffy and had been gulping air. So her esophagus is full, you know, you know, so that's, that's it for a Grammy. But, um, yeah, so nothing buddy's okay i've actually got um i think don't quote me i have an appointment for buddy i'm not looking at my planner so don't quote me i think dark cat might have it if you're on dark which i know you are but um i think i have buddy going up for a doctor's visit on thursday i'll drive him oh <gasps> yay good um buddy's going up for a doctor's appointment i believe it's on thursday um I also have Cheerio going up on Thursday, I believe. Um, Cheerio. 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 Um, let me see here. I'll double check those for you too. So don't hold those. Um, don't hold those to me, guys. But uh, I'll I'll double check that. But oh, Cheerio is not, nothing more than um, if you really already know what Cheerio. Cheerio is snorky, snotty, stuffy, uh, ear infection. This is just kind of a reoccurring thing. We have done just umpteen amounts of uh, meds on her. And finally, after this point, Darcy said, you know, if all these meds don't work for her and she's still snorky and snotty, um, let's check and see if she has like some sort of ear polyp going on that would affect all of that. So that's what we're doing 
Um, I'm hoping she actually, this is one of those instances where you hope she finds something. I hope she finds something and can take, um, take that out. <laughs> so that'd be great. Uh, did you hear this morning that Scotland weighs nine pounds? You did hear that this morning. Holy cow. Um, I don't know what happened with, uh, I took them for cheeseburgers. That's, I, I'm pretty sure it must have been what it was <laughs> Poutine. Yeah, I filled him up with poutine. <laughs> he liked More it. More gravy. Um, he's doing very good. He has gained weight. He's still going tickle tot in his bed a little bit every now and then. So I don't know quite what's up with that. If it's just like I him being a boy, he is unneutered. So we do need to get that taken care of. Um... So, you know, we're just working on him. But other than that, his his attitude, his spirit, and um, weight is all good. So, yay. Yeah, there wasn't a peep out of him on the way to or from the milk. No, he's a really good boy. He is a really good boy. Um, I cannot believe he has gone up so much in weight. Uh, that's shocking. He's not messing around. No, he's not. I mean, he's a good eater. Um, and you can, you can tell. I mean, we kind of all started seeing that, like, you know, his hip bones weren't protruding as much. And he's still, would you not say he's still a skinny cat? Oh, he's still thin, yeah. He's still thin. Mm -hmm. So I can only imagine what he will be in full good health. After five more cheeseburgers. Yeah, exactly. Um, but he's such a, he's a good boy. He really is a handsome, handsome boy. Yeah. So other than that, I think that's all. And big thanks for Sonia. Boy, she has been... <laughs> As I said, Jill of all trades, master of none. She has been Jilling this <laughs> past two weeks. I, we had this plan of like, um, Sonia always generally seems to like a project when she comes in and something to do. So she was going to list the catathon baskets. I think you did that like Friday mm -hmm. because we have just kept you hopping with all of these other things. Poor Sonia's vacation has been. I, I keep coming back for more. So apparently I'm fine with it. <laughs> But yeah, Sonia the kitten magnet. Somehow she always brings them, and I don't know. How did I bring that last one when I didn't even know it was there? And you were like, "Look at the little babies!" And there it is. And like, it heard your scent here. Mm, it it was, heard my scent. It heard your scent. <laughs> it smelled my flavor. Yes. I used to love it when Jackie would open up cleaning products and go with a flavor. I'm like, "This is not a flavor. That's it's a not scent." Flavor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, oh, Spiker, Spiker Doodle, Spiker Doodle, Spiker Doodle. Hi, Chia. Um, Hi, Chia. Sit on her and don't let her leave. <laughs> I would love to, but I'm sure she misses home and definitely misses work, so oh, we got to get her back. <laughs> I get up this morning thinking, oh, my back. Oh, no, I can't drive. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Asriel's sitting on me. Never mind. <laughs> still. Yeah. <laughs> That's still a lot. There's a cat on my back. I can't get up. <laughs> yeah. I can take a picture of you like laying on the floor with cats crawling all over you. Um, Put a little like catnip behind my ear so one's like chewing or something. Yeah, exactly. They heard about you on the kitten tell. They do. I don't know what she does. Like, I think she's like honking a certain kitten horn coming through town or something saying, come, I'm here. But she <laughs> does. So, but anyways, I think that's all my updates. So big thanks to... Sonia, um, gosh, Miguel, Reed and Rindy, of course, all of you guys and the mods and, um, oh, and uh, camera mods, camera mods keep everything rolling. Thank goodness for them. And, um, and the last thing I wanted to go over was, um, um, oh golly, uh, Rita, sorry, I'm trying to, uh, right behind the door, let's <laughs> just. Sorry, it's easy to get distracted when you see a kitten puking out of the corner of your eye. Um, and big thanks to Rita. Rita is posting all of the stuff on Facebook. Um, and she she just... She posts stuff and it makes me want to go out and get a cat. Yeah. She posted something like all these cats. And, and this still just about makes me want to tear up. She posted a video just recently of like all these cats that have been saved by... Or from because of FFRC and I was like oh my gosh <laughs> good it's, job Lee you're doing it no I was like I was like you just give me a hope Chomper. like <laughs> you know it was so sweet Chomper. oh their birthdays are coming up 
Dark Cat, if you wanted to add to that list on the 6th, I think Cheerio is going up on that day, too. Yeah, from your notes for next week. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, she does write such good posts. Reed and our admin team are awesome. Yeah, admins keep it straight. And, man, she is just... Oh, it was awesome. I know. I saw it, and I was like... <gasps> I think all of us go through times where you're like, you're a failure, you know, kind of thing. And, um, I didn't do the best I could. Yes. Yes. You know, I'm like, oh gosh, I should have done better. I should have done this. I didn't should have done that. You know? Um, so I saw that and I was like, okay, but you know, those were 10 cats that might not have been here. So what's that thing? It's like, you can't change the world for every cat, but for one cat, you can change their world. <gasps> It's like, no, that's just going to make me cry, too. <laughs> I've never heard that. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you can't change the... I can't remember how it's worded, but something along the lines of you can't change it for everything, but for one, you can change their everything. Oh, I love that. That is so true, though. Mm -hmm. It really is. Yeah, and it's so true with, with this, I, I want to say industry. It's not an industry, yeah, but this situation. <laughs> that always makes it sound like this money-making. Yeah, this money-making. Put on your hard hat and go work industry. Like <laughs> This money-making industry. <laughs> God. But, yeah, like, you can't change it for all of them. You can only, like, what is it, work, think globally, act locally. Yeah. That's, that's another true, good one. Though. That's true. It's like you got to do what you can. If nobody did anything, then what would happen? That's so true. So it's like you can't. That's a good way to look at it. Fix yeah. it all, but fix what you can. Yeah. Literally fix all the cats <gasps> you can. Oh, that's it. I like that idea, Mandy. Get it printed on a shirt. <gasps> oh, okay. That's a good idea. Oh, I like it. I see it like on memes and stuff all the time. Like. Oh. Oh, I like that. That's a good idea. I will put it in my good idea folder. Thank you. Okay, well, um, that's it. Uh, Edie's not coming in today. She has, um, she's been sick, unfortunately. Poor Edie. Mm -hmm. But um, oh, and big congratulations to Carmine for graduation. Yay, for graduating. Carmine. Yay, Carmine. Um, so uh, yeah, Edie won't be in. But very, very sweet. Um, uh, um, Stacy and Cat will be coming in at one o'clock to pick up her shift so oh i'm so grateful for them um between debbie taking care of the babies and me taking care of the babies and a big help with sonia so what am i gonna do no she's leaving she can't leave sorry i can't come back uh a volunteer got sick and i need to stay for four months yeah <laughs> she's it's a very bad cold yes very very bad um, so anyways, they're coming in to cover ED shift. Bless them, bless them. So I'm very grateful. So I think that being said, I'll probably get out of here. We just fed the babies. So they're good for another couple hours, a few hours. They're, they're eating out, us out of house. <laughs> that little white one. Oh my God. Can we, can we tell the white one's name? I think so. Dark cat. Are you there? Paging dark cat. Shah Noir, otherwise known as. <laughs> Shah Noir. <laughs> it's not it's not literal translation, but it loosely translates in French to dark cat. Oh, nice. It's like cat black. Cat black. <laughs> Shah Noir. That's like my nickname for her. I wonder if she's there. Are you there, dark? Do, 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 do. She's oh, not there too she far is. yet. There she is. The delay. I'm always here. So I will tell you, we will be doing it at, at some point, and I'll, I'll let you know sometimes, guys, but we will, do, we will name the babies. But... I did have a specific request, um, and I don't know if they want me to say from who, so if they do, let me know, but um, I had a specific request to name the little flame point dark cat. So his he has a name, and his name is dark cat. This one, look, look at the mess face. <laughs> so he does have a name, and his name is Dark Cat. There him is. There is Dark Cat. <laughs> and don't mind the food on my shirt left over from Dark Cat. There he is. he is so. Which is, it, I know it's ironic because he's so light, but it does make sense because he's a little terror. 
He's like, I am dark hat. <laughs> I'm like, this is perfect. When um when someone suggested it, look, look. Dark cat pondering the woes of life. Look at him. Did I leave the iron on? Oh no. It's like from from the movie Airplane, which I quote all the time. But um, what is it? Stephen never has a second cup of coffee at home. Oh my gosh. So it, it's actually quite comical and a very good uh, fit for his name. But um, we had yeah. nicknamed him when the when the second white one came in. <laughs> We had nicknamed this one OG because he was the original white cat that was in there. Yes, exactly. And, and now we're like... quickly got replaced with from OG to DC, DC. for Dark Cat. <laughs> so that was in, uh, in your honor that was named. So very, 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 very sweet. I, I, do you think they would mind who I said who it was from? I don't know who it was from. I think that would be okay. That, that I'll was, take the blame if not. Okay. That was turned in uh, by our moderator, Nance Pants, for Dark Cat. So, oh, Dark she, Guardian. Okay. Knew. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hope I didn't spoil a secret. So, yep, it works out very sweet. So, I, I think it, it actually fits him very, very perfectly because he is just a. Very a pro. Uh-huh. Nope. Nope. So, uh, yep. I think it's awesome. So, there you go. So, gosh, we had a whole bunch of... It's a good news Sunday. Except bad news because Sonia's leaving. But the good news is, is she really... I bet she can't find her passport. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, but... All right. Well, you guys are just absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for being you, and um, yeah, we're grateful for you. Don't forget, you can help the rescue by underneath the camera, hitting the thumbs up is the like button. Yes. And if you subscribe to the channel and also do the thumbs up, both of those things help the rescue. It really does. It really does. It helps out a lot. So, I hope so, Burgundy. One day we hope to drag Burgundy out. Wouldn't that be nice? Mm-hmm. Bonjour, Berg. Oh, and she can bring French food. Mmm. <gasps> Baguettes. French Fries. cheeses. <laughs> Toast. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh. Ooh, beef bourguignon. Okay, now, oh. now I'm into real French I know, food. I know, I know, I oh. know. Like, I just want one of those baguettes. Just give me a baguette and some cheese and butter. Mm-hmm. Mmm, French butter. You know what I'm having for supper? Oh. Oh, that's... Yeah, but it's not good here. It's not as it's good. It's not as good. It's just not as good. Mm -mm. Ooh, and macarons for dessert. <gasps> mm. Macarons that I'm never mm. gonna try to make because holy procedure. There is a there is a chocolate over in, in France, and I found it on a train. And I get um, I get a. They they handed out samples <laughs> when I took a chocolate, or when I took a train. Anyways, I'll have to dig it out. But there is some like delicious french chocolate that they have over there oh my gosh and it's liquid it's like it's like nutella but it's chocolate <sighs> mm. i took train a train <laughs> i took a train from london into paris that good french train chocolate. the good french chain train chocolate i took a train from london into paris and then when i got off the train uh when I took a see i'm thinking about chocolate tgv wasn't no um I got off the train and there was a, a little stand there and they had this like French chocolate and it was in these glass jars and they were like, would you like a sample? And it was the best chocolate. Oh yeah, it was a fast train. It was the best chocolate I've ever had. And I was like, I didn't realize French was like, no, it was a booth. Yeah. And it was a super fast, it was a very fast train. I'm going to look it up because I still get, um, I signed up for it. Um, so I still get emails from them like all the time, but it's all in French and I can't read it except like with. Google I. Translate. 
Google Translate is your friend. <laughs> Cut and paste. I'm like, I'm like, oh, yeah, there's a vec. That means with, you know, <laughs> that's I or something. <laughs> I, Berg, I'll have to look it up. I cannot remember what it's called, but, um. Chocolat. Chocolat. Um, it was like, it was the best chocolate. And I'm like, you think Switzerland's known for chocolate? That chocolate was, it was really good. It was so good. I'll look it up. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's like a national French chocolate thing or, but now I want it. <laughs> and some crusty bread and some French cheese. I mean, we should have some French wine. Are you there. Thinking? Yeah. <laughs> let's just go, go all that way. Well, let's go to France. Sorry, I can't come to work. <laughs> I have a kid on my back in, in France. In France. Yeah, we have to go there to help cats and stuff. It's a business trip. Can I get a discount on the travel? <laughs> Maybe that's why I liked it, Burgundy, because it wasn't quite as sweet. I don't know. It was... I can't remember. Um, yeah. Mm. I'll, I'll look it up. Brie is French, too, isn't it? Brie cheese? It wasn't like the common ones, Berg. It, it wasn't like the, the Merci or anything like that. It was, It was something... French for cheese is fromage. Fromage. Oh, I know fromage. <laughs> That's what I remember in, in <laughs> school. I'm like, um, I know. Now, now we just need to go to France and, ooh, Brie is French. You know what I don't like about Brie? I don't like the, um, I don't like the Rhine. That's, uh, I mean, know. you eat it? See, that's what I never know. Like, I try to be fancy, but... Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to eat that rind or not eat the rind. It's up to you. Well, Gruyere, isn't that a, that's oh, a place in France. Gruyere cheese. Right? Oh. I like um, getting a brie cheese and you cut the top off like the rind. Yes. And you microwave it. Yes. And then you take green apples like Granny Smith's and dip them in it. See, oh. I don't like the, I don't like cheese and fruit. Oh, you weirdo. Yeah, I, I Love can't. Love it. And it's always served sur that way, in, in kraut. Yeah, I like it in kraut. Mm. You know what I like? You know what's really good? Cheese? Irish goat cheese. Mm. Right? Is Roz there? Roz, Irish goat cheese. Somehow, everywhere I went in Ireland, it was goat cheese wrapped in a pastry. And they had like this raspberry dressing over it. Oh, mm, mm, mm. mm. No, I do love, they have goat's cheese that comes like with cranberries and yes. cinnamon. Yeah. I'll get that Hi, as Roz. a treat every once in a while. Roz, do you like Irish goat cheese? Look, now I'm all hungry. Irish goat cheese. Are I'm hungry too now, dang it. It's it's something different. It's really good. Oh, it's like twenty oh, after twelve. Sonia's gotta go. Okay, look. <sighs> You've never tried it? Oh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I had goat cheese like every single day there. Alright, anyways. Burgundy, I'm gonna find that chocolate. Thanks for the chat, guys. Oh that cheese room. <laughs> You're right. Thanks, guys. Well, you have ordinary cheese, Roz, maybe because it's because you are, I'm sure, it's probably just ordinary for you. Who's that? Otter? No. Buckeye. Oh, hit him, don't come in. Eat the pudding. 
Oh, it's pudding? It's a pudding. I was just having a good snoozer. There. <clears throat> it's a pudding. I can't find a meatball. Meatball! Your Cheerio. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's my Steven. Steven, my Steven. Steven. See you guys next time. I'll be on the flip side soon. Well, not soon, but soon-ish. Oh, meatballs up there.